Hey guys, Tony Benauer here. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a Facebook page for your business. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm, I have a business that I'm promoting, so I'm going to go ahead and start another Facebook page. And uh, the steps that you go through basically to give it a start, if you don't know the exact URL to start, you just go to Google and just type in create Facebook page. And the first thing that will pop up is right here. So it take you to create a page and what you can do is brand or product and what I usually do is for category I'll do a product or service okay on this page you're gonna be asked to put a description in your site and it's gonna ask you a couple of questions so for the description I put big idea mastermind which is a keyword that will help the rankings on your search Big Idea Mastermind is a private high-end automated marketing system that allows people to make money online another keyword regardless of experience failures in the past or background All right I believe um, you can put another sentence in there but it's gonna be the max so I'm not sure maybe 200 characters is probably the max and then you want to put a website in here which mine is gonna be getmoneyaccess.com traffic secret which is a landing page All right so if you were to actually go to that website now this is my landing page where people would opt in and once they do their email goes into my get response autoresponder and the follow-ups come to them through the get response or a web or whatever you're using okay but with big idea mastermind we use get response right now uh, to this date which is June 9th 2013 okay so next step once you put all this in you're gonna put save info and it's gonna take you to a profile picture alright now this is where I use photoflexer.com it's free totally free you don't even have to create an account so what you do here is I've put here a dimension cheat sheet so for your Facebook page the main photo has to be 851 by 315 alright and this is done easily by going to Google and selecting any kind of picture you want so if I put BIM Hawaii search it comes up with all these pictures you know you can use that or you know make your own you can just make uh, you can type in Hawaii Beach whatever and then take a beach scene which I'm going to show you how to do and then get a big idea mastermind logo such as this one and just post it on there make your own banner versus copying somebody else's which you most likely don't want to do okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a 180 by 180 picture on photoflexer photoflexer.com you're going to upload a photo Okay, once you get here, you're going to go upload photo. It's going to open up your files, and you just kind of pick which one you want. Um, for this one, I'm just going to choose. I'm going to choose Mind of an Entrepreneur, and I'm going to make it a check your cheat sheet 180 by 180. All right. So what we're going to do here is you want to, your tab to be on basic, and then it's going to go resize. So from here, you first of all want to uncheck the keep proportions because you already know exactly what size you're going to do. So it's going to be 180. By 180. Okay, and you're going to click apply. And then you're going to put save. Save to my computer and JPEG as best for most photos, so that's fine. And then you're going to want to label it. Just put uh, BIM page photo okay and save it to your destination I'm going to select mine in libraries so now that it's saved and it's sized right you want to go back here and you're going to go upload from computer then you're going to go in and pick your one see this was the one that was 180 BIM page photo that I saved so I'm going to open that up and now it's loaded so you're going to click next choose a unique Facebook web address to make it easier for people to find your page once this is set it cannot be changed so for this one you want to put something in there that you you, you want solid okay because you're not going to be able to change it so for me I'm going to choose I'm going to put big idea mastermind business now it's not going to be something that I'm going to give somebody a web address and say hey go to facebook.com forward slash big idea mastermind business this is not a page that I'm pretty much going to promote like as a business card or when I'm out networking if I'm out networking or something I'll usually give my landing page you always want to send traffic to your landing page alright so this is just for um, you know keyword uh, purposes so when people search Facebook 
they'll all, you know, Facebook will search out Big Idea Mastermind. So I'm going to go set address. And now it's going to take you to your admin panel. So what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to first, okay, you're going to want to like Big Idea Mastermind, all right? So you go ahead and like it. Okay, and then it says invite your email contacts. You can do that right now, but you can do it later. I'm going to go ahead and skip that right now. Okay, what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to add a cover to this, okay? If it has any pop-up windows asking you to invite friends or anything right now, just press skip because uh, you can always go back and do that later. All right, so add a cover. Once again, it's going to go, uh, I'm going to go upload a photo. Okay, but before you do that, you're going to need one, a, a banner like I told you for 851 by 315 okay so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go to photo flexor and before you do anything just go to Google and find out you know you can type in um, beaches okay and then you can see you know do you like any pictures here that look like beaches first of all it's gonna have to be bigger than 851 by by 315 okay because when you want when you when you're gonna want to adjust the size of photo you don't want to adjust it bigger because it's going to distort the picture you're going to want to adjust it smaller okay so sorry what I've done is I've already googled a picture in the beach and I've already decided what I was going to do so um, what I'll do is um, I'll go ahead and get uh, I'll go ahead and get this one right here okay <laughs> I thought I was going to use my own but hey this one looks pretty darn good all right so as you can see it's bigger than the 851 by 315 so I can use this okay so I'm gonna save it image as so what I'll do is I'll go back to photo flexor and I will do um, load another photo okay upload photo upload and you're gonna find that photo that you just downloaded onto your files which I put my I believe under downloads okay activities beaches and it's going to load it onto here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to first um, want to resize this, right? Okay, I'm going to resize this, basically. I'm going to cut the corners here. Sometimes they'll have a resize button here, but I think because this photo is a little bit bigger, it's just going to have these tabs on the side that you can just um, bring in and bring out. So if you're actually bringing this in from the right side, okay, you'll see that the dimensions start showing up right beside there. So as you bring it in it goes smaller 851 is what we're looking for here right there okay 851 by 316 that's fine it's not gonna hurt anybody so and then what you're gonna do is from here you so I'm gonna Google big idea mastermind logo I'm gonna try to find the biggest one all right, so this one's that base, 290 by 248. Um, this, is the big, this is the biggest one so far, 458. That's the biggest one, but it's black and white. Do I want that? Maybe. Okay, I'll use Big Idea Mastermind, this one right here. Okay, it's 386. I'm just going to go ahead and right-click it, save image as, and it's going to go into my files. Okay, make sure you know where you download it. So it's under Downloads. It's under BIM Logo. I'm going to save it. Okay, go back to my photo flexor. I'm going to upload this. Okay, so it's under BIM logos right here. The dimensions pop up 386 by 358, not bad. Okay, so that's going to add it right there. Okay, so what you can do is you can shrink it if you want, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do something like this stretch it out right there and then what you can do <clears throat> is under layers you should already be there you're gonna pick the um, op opacity or opacity I'm not even sure how to say it but it doesn't matter and then you want to click it down to wherever you want it okay big idea mastermind see so you could do this if you want or you can just kind of put the logo how it is on the top left corner okay but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like this and then when I click done it's going to go ahead and save it. All right, so that's what I'm going to use just for right now for this uh, demonstration. Save to your computer. BIM Facebook page banner. It's going to be saved under downloads. 
And then so what I'm going to do now is now that I'm creating that page, I'm going to add a cover. And so it's good. I'm going to go upload photo. And it's going to it's under downloads, it's under BIM right there. There's my banner right there. Okay? Okay, now it's loading right here. Okay? Okay, you can scroll up to position it. You can uh, from here just click right there, you can go up, down, left, right, but you know what? Because we re already resized this thing to 851 by 315, it's already the exact size you need it. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Save Changes. And so now you have your Big Idea Mastermind page. All right, so now all you gotta do is uh, promote it to your friends, uh, get them to like it. Um, you know, you can, if, if you wanna come up here, um, it's gonna have invite friends to invite. You just click invite, 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 invite. You can see all your friends right here. It'll send them an invitation, like in their notifications, so-and-so wants you to like their page. Okay, I'm pretty sure you're, you've received those before. So that's how it kinda goes out. All right, and um, another way that you can actually promote this, get your page started with likes, so it can kind of help the, your, your your rankings on Facebook, um, is you can go to Fiverr.com, okay, and when you go here, um, you can go to, let's see, uh, online marketing. You can go to uh, get traffic, um, social marketing, okay. But you can write in search here. You can go uh, Facebook likes all right okay now the, the only reason why you want to do this for to add likes is just to kind of get your likes started and it kind of raises your rankings and kind of helps people find your page more than just a page having no likes but by in, in no sense at all do you want all your likes to come from here you don't want to just buy likes and likes and likes and have like 20,000 likes it's just not right all right so what you want to do is you just you kind of want to just get a little bit just maybe a couple of hundred whatever you don't even want to get a thousand you know just get a, a couple of hundred whatever and I can tell you that once you get a couple of hundred on there you know it's gonna people are gonna start finding your page through searches and then you're gonna start getting the real likes now when I started my my fan page uh, I'll show you my fan page right here um, a big idea mastermind by Vic Stry's house fan page Okay, I only bought like 250 to 300 likes. Okay, so all these likes, 500 plus likes, are all natural and all from people who have found my page and liked it and actually commented it. So every time like I actually um, post anything on here now, I get a lot of a lot of uh, organic people who see this post. All right, so that's me with uh, Les Brown, one of the top five speakers in the world. Okay, it's me with uh, it's Vic Stry's house in Hawaii. That's me right here with uh, Dave Wood and his wonderful wife Ashley. Okay, so this page is you can just use to post your business stuff, to post anything of value that can help the niche of online marketing, money making online, uh, make money online, whatever. And that's what you use your page for. Okay, so um, that this is that this is my original page. Okay, so I've created this page for you guys right here now. Uh, just to kind of show you how to go about it. All right, so back to Fiverr, you're going to want to find uh, someone who likes this, this guy says, I will deliver 1,500 plus permanent Facebook likes. All Facebook likes deliver within 24 hours. You can do that. Um, I'd rather go with the lesser, like I will give 500 or 300 right here. Okay, and you just look, tell them all you need is a couple hundred likes just to get started. You don't want to make it look like you have tons of likes, like 2,500 or 20,000, just because you'll actually get the likes if you just get it started with you know boosting your your rankings and um, on the results on Facebook just by getting a couple hundred will totally do, be enough okay so that's how to start your Facebook fan page fan page with big idea mastermind my name is Tony Benow if you have any questions just comment below or leave me a message and I'll talk to you soon